All right, one thing I had not yet done is take off the uh, valley cover. Uh, you have your two knock sensors uh, in here as well. Um, they have a rubber grommet that fits at the top. Uh, to disconnect the, um, the sensor, you press in from the sides. It's kind of hard to get your fingers in there. So if you have a pair of um, pliers like this, you can get in there without too much trouble. And it'll pop right off. Okay, I've got the heads off. Um, doesn't really matter what order you do this in, but I'm going to take the uh, knock sensors out. Uh, I didn't take those out earlier when I disconnected the harness, but they use a uh, 22 millimeter uh, socket. We'll take those two out, uh, and then we'll take the valley cover bolts off. Uh, and then back here in the back, um, you have your map sensor, and I believe this is an oil pressure sensor. Um, they can stay in place right now, but we may take those out um, before we pull the block. Just give us clearance uh, in here. Just don't want to damage anything. They're the same, so you don't have to worry about keeping them separate. All right, with all the bolts out, um, there's a gasket under here that's obviously been there for a long time, so you may have to uh, pry this or work with it a bit uh, to get that gasket to break loose. Not a lot to see. See the uh, front of the cam. This is the valley. On the LS1, there's not much to see.